Okay, in this video we're going to add and subtract decimals. Um, oh, sorry. Page one, these examples. Page two, uh, these examples. Uh, page three, these examples. Page four, these examples. Page five, these ones. And page six, these two examples. Okay. So let us start with uh, page one. And we'll straight away just remember uh, money, adding money together, two dollars and eighty-eight cents plus a dollar and five cents. Um, hopefully, we know that we've got to add the cents and then the tens and then the dollars, right? Basically, so you kind of line them up like this: cents, tens, and dollars. Then you add. Now, eight and five is thirteen. So you put okay, that's thirteen cents. So the three part of that thirteen goes down here. And the one part of the 13 is a 10. Okay, and that, of course, gets um, added to this next column here, right? So now 1 and 0, 1, 8 gives us 9. And uh, so we have 93 cents, and then 2 and 1 is $3. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense, right? And, and it basically, once again, this is what we have our units, or ones, um, tenths, and hundredths. A cent is one hundredth of a dollar. This is a hundred cents in a dollar, right? So we've got uh, ones and tenths and hundredths, right? For fun, okay? All right. So if we're adding, um, you know, tens, let's say we have, uh, you know, we can also have say a tens column, and let's get our cheat sheet out just so we can show you this once again as usual. So if I'm at these guys, you can see here, like, if I line up the decimal point, I've got a tens column. Okay, I've got ones, I've got tenths, I've got hundredths, and I've got thousands. And, and you know, you just line them up like that, and you add um, the like like terms, basically. So we always start over on this side first of all. Don't start here. So anyway, we've only got one type of thousandth. Okay, which is you know, I'll just leave that there for now, just so we can really see that clearly. So we're adding our thousandths. I just have. Uh, uh, one digit in the thousand spot, and that's seven, right? So you just put seven down here. So, but I mean, you're supposed to write this down. So I hope you've have you got this written down. This is so seven thousandths, right? Uh, press pause and write it down if if you haven't got it yet. Uh, hundredths, four and one, five hundredths. Okay, so seven thousandths, five hundredths. How many tenths? Three and eight is eleven. So eleven tenths. So we put put one there, and the other part, the the so eleven is ten and one. That ten part, ten tenths, you see, is a unit, is one. So we put the one over there, put the decimal point down here, and add the ones now. One and three is four, and nine is thirteen. So put three here, and we add a one to this column, the tens column, and uh, that makes three and one is four, right? So once again, you've got tens, ones, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths, and you need to line them up carefully and add the correct uh, digits together. That is the trick. Okay. So, if we had this uh, example here, 7.9 plus 3.48 plus 1.007, can you write this out carefully as an addition, one, one digit on top of the other? So just, you know, write this out carefully. How are you going to write this out? Okay, I'm gonna. I'll help you. You've got to go. If you haven't, so you got to go. Um, seven point nine, three point four eight, one point zero zero seven. Okay, and then we add them together. So we're adding thousands, hundredths. Tenths and ones. We always start with the start with the thousands. So just seven thousands. That's all. All the hundreds is easy too. Eight and zero. That's eight hundredths, right? Tenths. Nine and four is thirteen, and zero. That's still thirteen. Carry the one. Put your decimal point down underneath here. You always write down the decimal point underneath decimal point, right? One one is two, and uh, three is five, and seven is twelve. Okay. So we have twelve point three. Eight seven, or just for fun, twelve and three hundred eighty-seven thousandths. You might remember that from the last section. Okay, 
So let's go to page two. And we've got to add these guys together. So can you line these out correctly or neatly, one on top of the other and then add them without making a mistake? So one thing, once again, we've just got to write things neatly. Don't make a mistake. If you make a mistake, you're wrong. You know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this. Um, oh, you know what? I'm just going. I'm going to line it all out again as usual. Okay, sorry. So thirty. Let's see. Thirty-one point zero two eight nine. And then we have 8.79, and then we have 0 0.003, and then we add those guys, okay? So we've got to make sure we line things up correct, uh, neatly, so that we have tens, ones, tenths, hundreds, thousandths, and also this, this last digit here is a ten thousandth, okay? So we always start at the very left. So look, this is one, two, three, four digits away from the decimal point. So that this is all in a zone. You know, if you want, just for fun, you can stick zeros in as placeholders on the end of these other numbers. That's fine. In fact, we should probably do that. That would be make it nice and easy, I think, right? So we all have four digits. Oh, that does look nicer, doesn't it? I think we'll do that from now on, right? So nine zero zero. That gives us nine. 8, 0, and 3 is 11. Carry the 1, right? 1 and 9 is 10, and 2 is 12. Carry the 1. 1 and 7 is 8. Put down the decimal point. Now 1 and 8 and 0 is 9, and then we have 3. So 39.8219. And just for fun, that is 39, and this is uh, tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousandths over ten thousand. 8,219 10,000s. Well, should we just write out some of these for fun, just for practice, okay, so we remember. All right, so uh, write this out carefully, and again, we could plug in zeros where we have spaces, basically. So uh, 4.1, and then we've got 10.03, right? 10.03. So you could put a zero there, just so you can show that there's nothing to be added to the three from this guy. Then you've got two hundred point zero zero seven, and uh, there's a zero here and here, right? So you can rewrite these numbers. This four point one is the same thing as four point one zero zero. It's the same thing, right? That might. I don't know if you like doing that or not, but anyway. So zero, zero, and seven, of course, is seven. Zero, three, and zero is. So go ahead and write down the answer. Have you got it? Press pause if you want to finish it. Press pause if you don't have it yet. Uh, zero, three, zero. That's three. This is one. Now, so that's uh, seven thousand three hundredths, one tenth, uh, four units, one ten, and two hundred. So two hundred and fourteen and one hundred thirty-seven thousandths, right? Can you write this as a mixed number just for fun? Two hundred fourteen, and we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So it's over a thousand, one hundred thirty-seven thousandths, right? <laughs> okay. So let's have a look at page three.